In Manchester's historic Amiskag Mill Yard, a renewed focus on the future. A new bio-research and manufacturing institute will soon be coming. The Defense Department awarded an $80 million federal grant to a coalition that includes research and development firm DECA, Dartmouth-Hitchcock, and the University of New Hampshire. It's the industry that never replaced the textile industry. And so we think about it as a next generation manufacturing uh, effort um, to replace you know, the textiles that left 100 years ago. The new institute's focus will be on developing and making tissues and organs that can be transplanted into patients, particularly injured American service members. This was something that was conceived by the Department of Defense. Uh, you can imagine that uh, there are a lot of uh, veterans, a lot of wounded warriors who uh, need new organs, need tissues uh, um, regenerated, and so they came up with the idea to uh, establish an institute uh, to advance uh, towards manufacturing uh, that kind of work. You know, one of the organs that is sort of at the top of the list is trying to figure out how to fabricate in large quantities a human kidney. The new institute will also give life to Manchester's economy. It will be located on Commercial Street, and UNH will be key in developing its workforce. Scientists, engineers, um, advanced factory workers. So it's not only uh, a, a bachelor's level and graduate level effort. Uh, we'll also be working closely with the community colleges to think about the kind of workers that they can produce. Good stuff. And U.S. Senators Gene Shaheen and Kelly Ayotte were instrumental in making the case for bringing the Institute to Manchester. DECA founder and inventor Dean Kamen was in D.C. today to accept that $80 million grant.